Hey, welcome back. I have just, I have been looking forward to building this set so much. It's just such a gorgeous design. So sleek and yet cozy and nostalgic and fabulous. This is so, this is the A-Frame Cabin. It's a Lego idea set, which means that it's been submitted by a member of the public, gone through all the reviews process and finally becomes a real Lego set, which must be so exciting for the people who make these things. So there are 2,082 pieces in this set. There, it's $280 here in Australia, which I don't think is a terrible price for what you're actually getting here. So lots and lots of pieces. This is going to be so much fun. The instructions are in here, all beautifully contained and kept pristine. So there are two instruction books with two different artworks on the front, one all lit up at night and one during the day. This is gorgeous. Versatility and simplicity. I'll have to read all of that. I'll read all of that later. I want to get into the building. <laughs> Of course I do. That's the whole point of a Lego set. But I do love all the information that comes in the instruction books. It's always so interesting. So this set comes with uh, four minifigures, I think. But there are like a whole host of animals, which is really fun. We'll meet them as they go along. But so the four minifigures we meet two in the first bag. So we've got this nice looking lady in her cozy jumper. Got her glasses and, and a bun. And this guy who has got a backpack on. He's ready to go out trekking or hiking around. He's got a mustache on both sides. Got a little rice mail on one. So let's put that forward but the best part about this is that all the hairstyles are actually interchangeable they're reasonably unisex looking hairstyles so this guy's now got a man bun he can go out hiking and commune with nature and this lady's got short hairstyles so yeah really really great it's a fun concept that you can just mix and match their hair around not that you couldn't before you can have whatever hairstyle you dang well please it really it doesn't matter it's just hair wear it how you want it to be as long as you're wearing it safely if you wearing if you're in a job that has moving moving parts in it don't, don't, don't wear your hair out that's very dangerous but apart from that and probably other situations oh my gosh so distracted so okay we have got some concretey bricky kind of things going on there's an open cardboard box down here and there's an Italian flag hint as well which is apparently a into the heritage of the designer which is a really nice little it's going to be hidden detail okay so this is the structure the base structure the foundation work of the actual entire a-frame cabin so it's so, always so interesting to me to see the different ways that you can just put in a nice strong structural foundation for what you're about to build because it's really important it's pretty dull but it's really important these fence these black grill fence work is going to be interesting so they add some airflow underneath the actual foundational work and there we've got our flooring on and this is what's underneath it's nice and light and airy so that's really good okay bag number two actually starts with a whole handful of hammers like gray hammers or mallets actually because they're yeah nice big strong uh bangy things and when we put them all in together they make a really like an offset pattern let's see what how this looks as they go in who would have thought to do this so this is like a cobblestone brickwork kind of effect but it's much more three-dimensional than just putting the little angled tiles that you'd normally use to do this sort of thing on for lego so this is we're building upwards but this is going to end up sideways if only i could get them a little bit straighter i'd be happy but it doesn't really matter because they would be a little bit askew even in your foundational work or would they <laughs> you said what you're building above it wouldn't be terribly secure but i'm assuming you hold them in place with some sort of mortar or sticky stuff so i don't really know <laughs> i'm not gonna pretend i know anything about building so these we got two of these mirror image of each other and they go in here and create such an interesting effect down the bottom the cobblestone kind of effect like yeah rocks packed on top of each other rock brick kind of things all right so that looks really cool and you've still got a grill bit at the front there so maybe that's to let all the vermin <laughs> like all the vermin in i'm pretty sure that's what it's for no it's not it's for airflow underneath all right we're up to bag number three and we've also lined and put a whole heap of jumper studs on the front this is gonna be the front porch over here but at the back where we're working now a uh, whole load of angled slopes on either side which in the end i think are designed to hold the a-frame roof on like they balance they sit on top of this so it's gonna be really really fascinating to see how that all goes together but now we're working just little bits on the walls and of course piece by piece stuff on the inside of the actual cabin so this is actually chock filled with eclectic furniture I mean it's all the secondhand stuff or old style stuff that you come and you use to furnish the cabin so we've got a sink we've got a <laughs> bucket full of 
Oh, no, I'm sorry. A crate full of, like, with wine glasses and wine. And I think, like, the spritzer, the soda thing that we used to have to, to mix, like, a drink mixer. Over here, we've got a whole pile of logs inside as kindling for the fireplace. On the stove top, we've got a frying pan. Got milk just left out curdling on the side there next to the sink and this is going to be the front entryway the front door and in here we also have got a box and some some sort of yeah I put those in the wrong spot that doorway was so not big enough for anybody to get through <laughs> now we fixed it <laughs> thank heavens okay so on this side we've got a record player no not a record player a like a stack of old records of old vinyls I love the fact that there's one just poking out of the sleeve, so you definitely know exactly what it's going to be. And on the top is a nice record player. Oh, and a geode, which is... I love this piece. <laughs> but obviously, you know, collected out in the woods somewhere. Just lying there. Just stumbled over it. A doormat with Lego on it. Very nice. And we've got a water bottle right near the door and a an umbrella stand. This is so cute. Look at it. It's all so mishmash, but fantastic. All right, we're up to bag number four. So bag number four gives us a whole lot of walling, I think. I think this is a substantial part of the wall with our... <laughs> it's like I got stuck in the record player with... <laughs> no, I can't even think. With some tools and a fire extinguisher. Got some outward facing studs all going on the outside. So this is actually supposed to go, yeah, directly above... Yeah, fire extinguishers above all those wood bits, so that's going to be near where the actual fire is. These are the nice big dark green windows with kind of random things on them. They're only random to me because I don't know what they're supposed to signify. So this side's just got a random red bit and the other side's got a pocket watch and a timery kind of thing. This here is actually the sink. This is, well, next to the sink is something with a like a ledge thing but the musket the pistol old-timey pistol is the actual tap for the sink that's such an interesting part to use for that I would never have thought of that okay so the outside studs are all going to end up lined smooth with some jumper studs to connect stuff on so the whole of the outside here is going to be lined like tiled which is like cladding <laughs> it's like proper cladding in a building for extra warmth really important okay let's see we've got our windows on here now we get a door with a uh, double door yep double door section that's the same width then as the windows I can understand why that is the way it is and then heading up getting some more walls on a whole heap of just little bits go in here and there like claws to hold on to stuff this is the range hood for over the top of the stove and lots and lots of walls without facing studs all right this is oh, this is the little pot belly stove isn't this such an adorable design so this goes next to the wood obviously very sensible spot to have it and yeah then the yeah, pipe goes to outside saucepan over the sink no, hold on, that's not a saucepan, that was a frying pan. So we got a couple of frying pans in different colours. You know, everything mishmash, it's fantastic. More wall going up, and then we get a nice substantial amount of structure to be able to hold up the next floor, and some smooth tiling and some jumper studs so the next floor is removable so you can access the bottom level. Stairs going in here with just a, like something's been dropped on this stair bit dangerous <laughs> but I love that just stuff has been left everywhere actually I don't like that that makes me very uncomfortable I like things to have a place but it, it's there for a reason and over the front door is a printed piece with a like a blacksmith kind of maybe like an upholstery or something like that upholstery do you call that no a tapestry hanging upholstery is something different okay so we are at the end of this bag we're up to bag number five and now we start cladding the outside of the back so we've got a lot to do here so we're going to zoom through super fast because it's not terribly interesting though it's not boring to do because everything's at differing heights there are it is it's not just smooth and there are jumper studs here and there to add different stuff on and also just to add texture. So even though it is a lot of cladding, it's not boring. The whole of this actual build is not boring. So it's, yeah, I highly recommend it. <laughs> I'm enjoying this so much. Okay, on the front, same idea, cladding it, same kind of style. No, it's the same style as the back, but obviously different because there's different sections to be putting in these ones go up here and then just some nice timber work pieces and this was one of the main reasons I wanted to get this is because it's got a printed moth piece two of them actually I think in here in the set it's also a butterfly so I'm very excited to see that too so here's one of the chairs to go inside we have a newspaper here on the floor the chairs sitting situated right there near the record player and there's another chair same design no slightly different design mishmash it's my favorite word for this everything is just mishmash cozy eclectic just stuff 
brought up to the cabin for the weekend a cabin a candle that's dribbled down a little bit like burnt right down here on the side and then some more crystals that they've collected nice my gosh i wish i could just go for a walk and just trip over some crystals or geodes that would be that would be a chance to be a fine thing that'd be fun this is i love this little detail so also up here it's a nice place to come up to get your novel written or to write your memoirs so we've got a typewriter teapot and a teacup ready to go keep you replenished and nice and lubricated while you keep your brain lubricated while you're busy trying to compose your interesting words to put down on paper very nice angled desk lamp on there on the side and another another little pile actually i feel like they're probably journalists or something like that because you've got couple of newspapers hanging around the place. I don't know that I can, that's enough information to actually know anything. All right, so we're up to bag number six and we've headed back outside unless the second floor is going to have green carpet, which I don't think we don't have the structure for that. Oh my gosh, there's a little frog here. Couple of the cutest mushrooms. My gosh, I love the sage green tops on them. They're so adorable. And there's a little bucket over here. So I think this looks like we're gonna be making some steps here, unless it's a little bridge. There's a froggy under the steps. I love that. And a squirrel. I did mention at the beginning that there are a good amount of wildlife animals in here. But I do love that. Oh my gosh, the frog under the stairs. There's a squirrel at the front. We've got a moth on the front wall. And this, I think, is either the water tank or a gas tank. I'm not sure. But I do know that that pink thing is the soap because we are building an outside shower, which is actually, we're not building that yet. <laughs> Over here are all the little dials for the gas. Yeah, am I right? Is that the gas? I think so. This looks like a gas kind of colory thing. Yeah, I'm going with it being gas. I'm just thinking if I say gas enough times, that's what it'll actually be. But these are the, this is the outside shower, which just fills me with horror because it'd be so cold. Unless, of course, you go up in the summer months. But we've got the shower, we've got the Oh, we've got a towel here as well. The soap's there, sitting there. And you've got a shovel, maybe because there's no toilet in here for digging your toilet outside. This little bench goes on the front. So I think that doubles as an actual chair. We've got a hot pot happening there. Now, what do you call that? A little, like, gas, gas roastery kind of thing. Gas fire. A little gas fire with an egg cooking on it. And this, which I'm pretty sure with the whips on the side is like a, either a, a rocking chair or one of those old style wicker chairs. And here's the printed butterfly that I mentioned before that I'm very, very excited about. So I just love these printed pieces. I love these new butterflies and moth prints. I'm pretty sure the moth print is actually a an atlas moth. I'm going to have to look that up. There's a magnifying glass inside in the box and we're getting the railing on. And I promise I'm not getting distracted by the squirrel. Squirrel! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna need, I'm gonna need to bring Doug in when I have finished building the upset. He can just stare at the squirrel. Squirrel! <laughs> I've lost it. I just, I love Doug so much. All right, focusing on what we're actually building. So this is another little outside part. Loving those sage green foliage pieces. So many new sage green things happening at the moment. Oh my goodness. All right. And this looks like it is, well, you know what? We'll find out what it is. Let's just keep building. So the logs, this is your, the, this, the, the fire storage outside. Is there an actual wood chopping spot for chopping this wood? That would be cool. Hopefully we'll be building that soon. And here's some more of the, the smaller pieces of wood. They get on top of the big logs. And this is the lid for the wood pile. Is that what you call it? I suppose it's a lid, isn't it, right? A roof. And and we've got a place. Yeah, we've got the axe in there. We've got an axe in that in that barrel there. So that's good. And this is the first of a few trees for the wood. I just love all these trees. And I love how they are in autumnal colours, but different autumnal colours to ones that we've seen before. This is also an interesting way to put the branches on. The branches are actually those big... Elephant tucks, 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 tusky kind of things. And the foliage is red and dark red and orange, and I just love it. It's so nice and brown, and obviously brown too. Okay, all right, and we have one more to go on the top, and then I'm pretty sure we get there's a spot down there for a moth. Yeah, there we've got a second moth here and a bluebird. This is gonna be a bird watcher's haven. This just actually slots in on the side. It doesn't plug in, doesn't clip in, but it just holds in place. All right, we're up to the next bag, which brings us the next two minifigure characters. This one has got a cozy blue sweater, and she, 
Oh, it needs a handbag. Well, or, or, you know, crossbody bag. It's You can take that out hiking. Love her hairpiece. Once again, it is a unisex style hairpiece, which you can pop on anybody. This character's also got a couple of awesomely fun faces. And I love his pink sleeves and his zippity up warm vest. He's ready. This is, I just, I imagine these are like two couples that go out, they share the cabin, they go out holidaying together and they, yeah, they just settle in and have a really nice time. Oh my gosh, it sounds so good. All right, working on the second floor. Back to work. This isn't work. This is fun. All right, let's see. This is not a very big area, but we're going to clutter a lot of stuff in here. I love clutter. You know how I feel about clutter, even that makes me stressed in real life. So we've got a map on the floor. There's an acorn on the floor. There's a cup on the floor. Okay. I'm a little bit broken. No, I'm loving it. And this is the bed. Hold on. There are two couples and one bed. Maybe they just have to share the bed or maybe one couple is off camping. They head out camping. So we've got a really nice big bed here in the middle. And these are the bedside tablely things. No, just the side yeah, just to build into the side of the bed. Big window matching the ones downstairs. There's a clip going on inside. So there's, we're going to be able to attach something in next to the bed. And this is obviously the walling because we can see all those studs to be cladding them later on. But stuff inside. So there's a skate here with a yellow bit on the top for some sort of toy or trinket up on the shelf. Books and um, figurine up here. Fantastic little bookshelf design. I like the fact it actually has strut supports underneath too. That's just a really great little detail. And here above the bed is a printed... I mean, this isn't the log cabin that we're actually looking at. Where... What is the... What is this... Just, what is this all about? I love it. It's bright. It's vibrant. But it's like a different A-frame cabin in the woods. Interesting. I want to know what the story is behind that or whether that's just a piece that's been printed before and I don't know I don't know I'm gonna stop hypothesizing and just continue on we've got a couple of lights on either side of the bed nice reading lights I've, the only problem I have with this sort of a structure is how dark it would be inside not very good with not with not light okay bag number nine puts a spider up in the rafters oh my gosh I love that I mean I don't love that but I suppose I prefer it more than a rat I'm glad there are no rats up in the rafters because that's icky. <laughs> the spider is funny. As long as it stays up there, that's fine. Okay, so on the bedside table, another little found shiny thing. Some binoculars just left on the bed there. And this might be, I feel like this might be an extension of the, the potbelly stove downstairs. I think this might be to get the heat upstairs. No, that's the, that's the, okay, so that's the exhaust on the outside. Do you even call it the exhaust? I don't know. And a really, really substantially serious camera. <laughs> <laughs> over here for your avid bird watcher so that has got one heck of a big long lens on it I love that this is gonna be fun I'm gonna send somebody out bird watching and this is I'm pretty sure yes oh my gosh this is the Lego treehouse so they've come here to build Lego like mindfulness meditation except they've left Lego on the floor which doesn't bring me much mindfulness and meditation. That's what's on the stairs is one of the Lego pieces falling down the stairs. That's not good. That goes under the stairs. You're never going to find that. It's like a nightmare material. Okay. Cladding the outside here like we've done before. Getting all these nice smooth tiles on. A few little jumper studs for random stuff like a tiny birdhouse. It's just the random stuff that brings so much joy to this build. Okay. So this just goes very neatly on the top and it's actually designed to be taken Taken off very easily too. We'll have a look at that when we've got some more of this together. But oh my gosh, how good is it looking already? Okay, bag number 10. And this, this is roofing time. So we have got two big, pretty sure they are identical. No, they're not quite identical, I don't think. But we've got two big roof panels to be putting on together and they have to be substantial but they also have to be light and they have to fit on there there's actually no hooks for them to go onto they just have to sit on yeah they're gonna sit in place so that's so that they're easily removable too so we've got two of these very nice and now they need some windows and we pre-make these and then they just slot 
in so it takes a little bit of fiddling but look at how smooth and tidy they are in here and now we clad it we line it with beautiful tiling and a few little studs here and there so many extra bricks included just to make a beautiful finish to it that's so good all right we need another one of these so magically it's done that off camera and let's put them on so yeah they sit on top of these angle pieces that we put in down on the bottom floor and then they just tippity top together at the top tippity tap together at the top <gasps> Doesn't that look just amazing? But we're not done yet. We've still got a nice big chunk of nature to build to include here. So a tiny rivulet or a creek or a stream with rocks poking out of it for tripping across. Love this so much. All of these different colors and textures to create. It's an interesting little nature scene. It's a lot of building, like layer building coming on here. Some smooth tile work here. They'll be like near the front. It'll be interesting to see what that's actually for. We're going to be sliding this into place next to the cabin like we did on the other side with the wood pile. Oh, but check out the interesting interplay with the rocks and the water and the mossy bits. And there's water coming through a little, little arch. And yes, there is an otter included in this set. And this big rock structure is actually just put in sideways to make a smooth kind of smooth rocky surface so interesting more mushrooms little just gorgeous sage green mushrooms i love that so much also love the otter <laughs> so cute another mushroom just going in there in the beige color and now we're up to bag number 13 we're getting there i'm gonna be so sad when this is finished so these look like they might be a couple of lamp posts so they're very modern kind of lamp posts let's keep building and we'll find out what they are as we go along this is definitely a tree structure it's going together in the same yeah it's in the same design as the tree on the other side it's just slightly less wonky it's more upper uppy righty style tree but same thing with those elephant tusks as the actual branches so we've got two of these at slightly differing heights um, looks like according to the instructions they might need to be angled slightly differently but um, I don't know, I'll just keep fiddling with them. Another butterfly has gone in here on this tree trunk. There was a moth on the other side, if you remember. So I just love all these little details. A lamp down here, and we're up to the next bag, which is just full of foliage. The next two bags are full of different colored foliage. So this tree gets yellow and oranges and browns. No, just really yellows and, and darker yellows and browns. And this tree gets sage, sage green and dark green. So three different trees in three different stages of coloring it's so pretty it shouldn't go together well but it really does and I don't know why <laughs> it really does okay underneath the tree is a crate with a water bottle a couple of life vests and that goes there on our smooth tiled section and the yeah okay the barrel gets a couple of oars and these are not light posts they're to store the canoe on and there's a red bird on this side oh I wonder if I put this foliage on correctly that bird's supposed to be sitting straight on the branch I think uh, that's right not everything has to be straight the world is imperfect the world is makes the what's what makes the world beautiful now this slots so nicely in here at the back of the a-frame cabin <laughs> isn't this just the most divine detail set love all the stuff out the back too <laughs> like the shells at the back still making my head hurt a little bit there is no bathroom in here so that shovel is for digging people and these two pieces are also designed to slot together as their own little nature section. How lovely is that? And isn't just that extra little bit of forethought in the design, which would have been a major amount of <laughs> forethought for the design, just adds extra versatility to this set too. All right, so when we take these off, you can access inside, take this off like a little handbag, the top level, and then you can put these back on as easy as... Hold on. Why is these not going on as easy as pie? That's not what I... Oh, hold on. Okay, so I have not put the top back on properly. It's supposed to make a triangle. Just offset that just a little bit wrong. So now he's good again. And now everything is peachy perfect in the house. So what do you think? It's such a delightful set to build. Thank you for coming with me on the journey. It's been an absolute blast. Um, but, but like a soothing, like a meditative blast. It's been fantastic. Plus there's an otter and a squirrel. The moths are gorgeous. I've got a little doodad. Out the back taking some pictures of the place out bird watching there's just so much delight in this whole set all right let me know what you think in the comments and check back in because more videos are coming up soon i've got so many good sets to be building so yeah come and join me <laughs> love to have you here all right see you again soon bye